is prophetic. None of his names is just a title. So when we call him the everlasting God, we are saying he is eternal. He is constant. Never ending. Endless. Perpetual. Undying. When it comes to God, three things are inconsequential. One, age. Two, status. Three, sex. Or gender. Age has nothing to do with God. Status has nothing to do with God. You can't define him by age. Who knows his age? He gave birth to himself. Created himself. Attended his own naming ceremony. Gave himself his name. He's God. Age is inconsequential to God. Sex. Is he male or female? He's El Shaddai. And El Shaddai talks about the full-breasted one. Is it not females that have breasts? So age is inconsequential to God. Hmm. Sex is inconsequential to him. And status is inconsequential to him. When you think you have known him, he opens another chapter. This God, the Yorubas call him Enikomo. Any monko, O Lotan Koto Manita Loko Jambe, A Jana Kuko Jamu Ring Kofili. God is older than, so I'm not preaching, no, I'm reading my notes to you. God is older than everything in existence. And God's word has God's weight. He's Unquestionable. He is the defender that terrifies the defendee. Obeni nija keru obo nija. Eske sami ni eshe to yi vimile o yengao. Obeni konja to wobo bo guara le loju. He said, "God, it's only this person that offended. Let me clear his family." He goes to the war to fight on your behalf without taking you along. He fights and then he brings back the booty and gives it to you. And it makes you look like you were the one that fought. He says it and does it. He's the lifter. He's Agbeniga. I'm describing the everlasting God. You see different things about him in Exodus chapter 5, Exodus chapter 7, Exodus chapter 9, Exodus chapter 10. He's the God of the Jews. The everlasting God. Eternal. No beginning, no end. He's the God of the Jews. Every day in our home, we pray for Israel. I'm very particular about Israel. And I want to read a few things to you today about the nation of Israel. I've been to Israel a few times. That is the most blessed nation on earth today because of the everlasting God. Asoroshe himself. The one that perpetuates his covenant. The one that likes what he does and does what he likes. And nobody can indict him over any matter. What did Jacob do that God will say, I love him and I hate Esau? And nobody can query him. Romans chapter 10. I'm presenting to you the God that nobody can speak enough about. There are many mighty men and women, accomplished people in the earth. But there is no single almighty man or woman anywhere. He alone is the almighty, the everlasting, perpetual God. He looked at one man, one idol worshiper, and he said, I'll bless you. 
And in you shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. One idol worshiper, he changed his destiny. He rewrote his history. One day, his children's 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 children were hungry in the wilderness. God turned to the angels and said, excuse me, what do you have there? He said, excuse me, sir, there is nothing except angels' food. He said, Erojuele. And the Bible says, men ate angels' food. This God, when he likes you, he likes you. It doesn't matter how many people hate you. When he elevates you, he elevates you. And forever, elevated people will be criticized by frustrated people. And when they are abusing you, he says, Me, they bow. The Bible says that God himself said, I found no iniquity in Jacob. Which Jacob? Jacob that had iniquity from conception. God said, I found no iniquity in him. He said, excuse me, sir. He was cheating. God said, I was sleepy at that time. <laughs> Genesis 27. After Isaac finished blessing Jacob, and Esau came in, and blah, 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 you know, and all that. <laughs> and Rebecca came in Genesis 28 and said to Isaac, I don't like the way the girls here are. I want um, Jacob to go to Padanaram and go and marry there. And Isaac that said there was no more blessing, called him and blessed him again. And then on his way, he slept put stones as his pillow. And God came to him. Dr. Diola, I thought God would say, uh -huh. Jacob, me like in control, she left on you. I had plans for you. Why did you cheat? God didn't refer to his sins. God said, I am the God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. This land, I will give it to you. Excuse me, what about these sins? I saw no iniquity in him. May God be kind to you. Yeah. May Jehovah be kind to you. Yeah. May the God of Israel that I represent be unusually kind to you. of Israel today. Israel is not as big as Ondo State. But there is nothing that does not grow in Israel. Let me read from my notes. <laughs> this that I'm reading now to you was published in the Weekly Standard on May 11, 1998. Israel is the very embodiment of Jewish continuity. It is the only nation on earth that inhabits the same land, bears the same name. Nigeria was not Nigeria until 1948. <laughs> Speaks the same language in 1914 or something. Thank you. Amalgamation. Niger area, Nigeria. But this Israel, his name has never been changed. Speaks the same language and worships the same God that it did 3,000 years ago. You dig the soil in Israel and you will find pottery, armor, from Davidic times. Hmm. Coins from Bar Kokba. 2,000 year old scrolls from which they wrote the Bible written in a script remarkably like the one that today advertises ice cream at the candy store. In 
1948, the Jewish community in Israel, you know what I'm doing this? Everybody, they've preached. Big men, they have preached to you. And they have prayed over you. Now, I want to establish, I want to show you a picture of what the everlasting God can do when he steps into your life in an unusual way. So, I'm showing you an example of a whole nation that God decided to stand by. This everlasting God. So that each time you want to be troubled, remember Israel. Each time the devil is whispering to you, I'm be more. The God of Israel is my God. Anytime you mention the God of Israel, heaven rattles. Because of the... Do you know what happened one day? The blind man, Jesus was going. And the man said, Jesus! He didn't answer. Thou son of David! He stopped. That was why I began by telling you that the name you call God is what he responds to. Say, son of David, Jesus said, bring him. Anytime you have a difficult prayer point, just say the God of Israel is my God. That's why I'm showing you the nation of Israel. Let's come back to my notes. In 1948, Jewish community in Israel, under the leadership of David Ben-Gurion, re-established sovereignty over their ancient homeland of the modern state of Israel. And that was announced on the day that the last British force left Israel, which was May 14, 1948. Don't mind all this, my grandma. When you listen to the tape, you will understand this grandma better. Just listen. A day after independence. You know, Nigeria got independence October 1st, 1960. A day after Israel got her independence, armies of five Arab countries, Egypt, Syria, Transjordan, Lebanon, and Iraq, invaded Israel, like October 2nd, our own, their own, May 15th. This marked the beginning of the war of independence. Arab states have jointly waged four full-scale wars against Israel. In 1948, War of Independence. 1956, Sinai War. 1967, Six-Day War. 1973, Yom Kippur War. Don't mind the grammar, just be coming. Despite the numerical superiority of the Arab armies, Israel itself, each time, defended herself and won. The everlasting God. Isaiah chapter 40. Have you not heard? Have you not seen? Is she aware any monka for you? When he stands by somebody, you know what they say? One with God is the majority. Five nations ganged up against Israel. Israel defended herself and won. This is unprecedented in world history and shows, <laughs> in fact, after Israel won, Israel went back to her country and said, Come and take back all the lands we captured. Amazing. With Judea and Samaria, Israel is only 40 miles wide. Only 40 miles. Thus, Israel can be crossed from the Mediterranean coast to the eastern border at Jordan River within two hours of driving. I have been there before. I have driven it two hours. We were in a bus. That was why, you see, when they were moving from Egypt to the promised land, they were supposed to, if they were driving, it should have been just two hours. But it took 11 days when you walk, when they went to, to check the place, those spies. It took them 11 days. But when God became angry, God said, it will take you 40 years. That journey was supposed to be two hours. May God not be angry with you. Amen. I don't like Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse number 15. It's a terrible thing. 
He says, when God is angry, and it is during the day, you will be praying that it should be night. When it is the night, you will be praying that it should be day. Maybe be angry with you. I'm taking you on a journey of these few minutes so, that I have. There is nothing that doesn't grow in Israel. Israel is surrounded by enemies. Yet. Now, if you have not listened since I've been preaching, I want you to listen. This speech that I want to read out to you, it was given by the Prime Minister of Israel. Please listen to what he said. Mr. Netanyahu. Only 70 years ago, the Jews were taken to the slaughter like sheep. 60 years ago, we had no country and no army. Seven Arab countries declared war on our small Jewish state just a few hours after its creation. We were only 650 Jews. 650 people against the rest of the Arab world. Arab world. No IDF. IDF means Israel Defense Army. No powerful air force. Only brave people with a God. Hey. Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Jordan, Egypt, Libya, Saudi Arabia, all attacked us at the same time. This is their prime minister. This is his speech. It's online. I got it there. The country that the United Nations gave us was, was 65% desert. The country was out of nowhere. 35 years ago, we fought the three most powerful armies in the Middle East and we swept them. Yes, in six days. And Israelis speaking of. We fought against various coalitions of Arab countries which had the modern armies and many Soviet weapons and we had always beaten them. Today, we have a God, a country, an army, a powerful air force, a state-of-the-art economy which exports millions of dollars. Intel is an Israeli company. Microsoft, Israel is behind it. IBM develops products at home. Intel, Microsoft, IBM, they develop their products at home. Our doctors give awards for medical research. We make the desert bloom. We sell oranges. If you go to Israel, they are banana. Flowers and vegetables all over the world. Israel has sent its own satellites into space. Three satellites at the same time. We are proud to be at the same rank as the United States, which has 250 million Russia, which has 200 million inhabitants. China, which has 1.3 billion inhabitants. Europe, France, Great Britain, Germany, with 350 million inhabitants. I told you I didn't come here to preach. Listen, no. the only countries in the world to send objects into space, Israel is part of the family of the nuclear powers. With the United States, Russia, China, India, France, and Great Britain. We have never officially admitted it, but everyone knows it and says that only 60 years ago, we were led, ashamed, hopeless to slaughter. We have the smoke ruins of Europe. We have won our wars here 
with less than nothing. We built our little empire from nothing. Who is Hamas to scare me? To terrify me? You make me laugh. Passover was celebrated. Let's not forget what this is about. Israel is speaking. Oh. We survived Pharaoh. We survived the Greeks. We survived the Romans. We survived the Inquisition in Spain. We survived the problems in Russia. We survived Hitler. We survived the Germans. We survived the Holocaust. We survived these armies of seven Arab countries. We survived Saddam. We will continue to survive the enemies present today too. I'm still going to the last statement where I will connect you. Think of any time in human history. Think about it for us, the Jewish people. The situation has never been better. Then, let's face the world. Let us remember all nations or cultures who once tried to destroy us no longer exist. Hey! Hey! Where is Alexander of Macedonia? They are still asking. They are still talking. Where are the Romans? Does anyone still speak Latin these days? Look at us. The Bible nation. The slaves of Egypt. We are still here. And we speak the same language. And now, Arabs don't know yet, but they will learn that there is a God. So, and he's the everlasting God. So, forgive us for not worrying. Forgive us for not crying. Forgive us for not being afraid. Don't believe the media. We still celebrate in Israel. Parties continue to go on. People continue to leave. They come out and they go in. Yes, our morale may be low. So what? It is because we mourn the people they have killed. And they rejoice in bloodshed. We are mourning our deaths. But we will laugh in the end. Because this is the end. Our God never sleeps. He is the guardian of Israel. The Yahweh. The God of Abraham. Isaac. And Jacob. The everlasting. Somebody said all this. I didn't write them. Our God never sleeps. He's the guardian. God. Guardian. He's Yahweh. He's the God of Abraham. Isaac. And Jacob. He's the ever. Are you worrying? Because 2 plus 2 is not 4 yet. Worry is to the devil what worship is to God. Why are you worrying? The last time I checked, he has not retired. Worry is to the devil what worship is to God. Why are you worrying? Why are you worrying about the school fees? About your children? You are not their owners. They will have children. Don't worry. Oh, they have one. I need them to have two more. He's coming. He's the God of Israel. The guardian of Israel. Why are you worrying? This is the simple thing God told me to come and tell you today. Why are you worrying? Have you not heard that he's the ever?
everlasting God. Only me could So, but in me, not your Lord, who is really. Kulidanu. Akoko sheshe mumo. Asheshe mumo. Akoko sheshe mumo. To bati bagbo. Asheshe. To ri agbagbo. Asheshe. I want it back, but I share. Before I take my seat, sit down. I want to remind you, number one, the everlasting God cannot lie. He baro. He cannot lie. I didn't say he does not. He cannot. It is impossible plus can't. It is impossible can't. Just like my husband cannot be pregnant. God, even if God wants to lie, it's impossible. What did he tell you? And it looks as if time is going. Don't worry. He comes late when he wants to come big. He's the God of Israel. He's the everlasting God. Number two, he does not forget. People forget, but God doesn't forget. Part 40, verse 27. Isaiah 40, 27. Why says thou, O Jacob, my way is hid from the Lord, my judgment is passed. Says who? Your mates have, they are married, and so? Hey, the baby is five years old, and there's no, another one. Hey, and so? God does not forget. Genesis 12, 1. Genesis 24, 1. Number three, he cannot die. He cannot die. That's why they call him Arugbo Ibani. Adagba Madogbo. Adarugbo Matekba. Adarugbo Malogilasi. Mm-hmm. Number four, he cannot betray you. Oba Dani, ma Dani. He cannot betray you. Some of you have been betrayed before. Hey, then for you in your way alone. Your husband betrayed you. Your wife betrayed you. Your boss betrayed you. Your friend betrayed you. God cannot betray. Number five, he cannot change. Malachi 3.6. That's why I read out to you what he did and what he's doing with a nation. He cannot change. I am the Lord, I change not. Number six, he doesn't upbraid. Kishiregun. James 1 5. God does not upbraid. Oni duro mi eshe momore. Ola wo kin shiregun. One woman in church one day somebody was dancing and praising the Lord. She spoke to another person and said, "Hey, me any more fulan shoto wo yin." I gave her that dress that she's wearing. That's not God. You raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. And when I'm strong, many times in the place of worship, I'm in tears. I used to hawk to pay school fees. Now, there is a school in Ekiti where I have adopted 15 children. I paid their school fees. That's just one. You raise me up to more than I. When I got married, one of my in-laws 
confided in my <laughs> in my mother and said, Can this one ever have a child? What was she tearing into? And God gave me big children. Pastor Dotton is the only one that is slim. <laughs> so we took the children home. And the man was slapping himself. Hey, John Lobi one. You raise me up to more than I can. Talo ti ru ek me to de fek para e to rie. Alon wo re bi kan. Talo soro si e to de nson kan. Kan of our pastors. He waited on the Lord for 13 years for a child. His wife was in the protocol department. She would carry my bag, carry her Bible, get ministers, you know. Somebody abused her one day and said, I don't know how many people are going to get the Bible. I don't know how many people are going to get the Bible. I don't know When she got pregnant, she delivered a set of twins. After 13 years. That night, when the husband came to our house to tell us she was in labor, she was in labor. We were rolling on the floor at Grace Villa. Because only thing he played, why you fell like this one, that one. You know, when God, you will do emergency Thanksgiving. <laughs> and the Lord said to us, If you can praise me, I will repeat it. Three months, when we were dedicating the babies, I said, Look, see, Bishop, let me where she might be vegetable meal. Three months after, she was feeling somehow. Went for the test, she was pregnant again. Another twist. True life story. In 13 months, they had four children. 13 months. You want to commit suicide? And so, we had them ice cream. So, you can't. I don't know. So, you can when you leave this church today, go to Mr. Biggs, buy something, eat, enjoy your life. God is coming. Human beings, they will bless you and they will use it against you. God, the everlasting God, He doesn't upbraid. Number seven, he doesn't abandon. How many people told Dr. Shergun that, look, we will be with you in this ministry forever. Where are they? Mama asked me, 33 years of ministry, I know what it means. Where are they today? God doesn't abandon. Deuteronomy 3, 31, 6. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid. I'll be with you. He's the ancient one. Love him. Serve him. Worship him. So in his house. So your time. So money. Give your life to him. Don't be proud. Worship time. Prostrate before God. Thank you, sir. Prostrate before God. Don't wear any dress that you cannot use to prostrate before God. Roll on the floor before him. Magnify him. Let him prove your enemies to be liars. Don't be psychedelic when it comes to praising God. Don't be psychedelic when it comes to giving to God. Magnify him. He's the everlasting God. Please rise up on your feet.